It's the one, one of my most memorable moments in high school, period. It's right here. 500 stairs in the cafeteria. My friend Lucas smacked me in the back of my head. And, uh, like, really hard. And everyone thought there was going to be, like, a ruckus, a commotion, some sort of fight. And there wasn't. He just hit me really hard. And I was laughing. And everyone was like, oh, shit, oh, shit. And I was like, no, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't suspend me, please. I didn't do anything. So this is where Todd and Zach did their radio show, which is my most memorable moment in DNN, probably just because I was laughing so hard. Um, I thought I was going to throw up, and just the reason it was so funny is because they literally just, like, made up names and just talked like it was a, like a talk show on the radio, and just the creativity of it made me die, and I was laughing so freaking hard. Alright, so, the best thing that happened this year was uh, probably my trip to, out to LA, because it kind of gave me a first-person view as to some of the stuff that I want to do in my life. Um, I got to talk to a cinematographer um, who does it, like, as a profession, and overall it was just really cool, because I'd never talked to anyone who actually did it before. So it gave me a little bit of a vision as to what I want to do. Worst thing about 2016-17 was going to school. <laughs> um, I had a lot of problems going to school. It, I'm not a fan of school. School's not a fan of me. So school this year started out um, decent. It got really bad. And then towards the end it started to get good again. For me, the Christmas holidays were pretty good. Um, I, uh, it was a break, breaks, breaks are always good. Um, a good thing that happened to me was probably, I got uh, a lot of cool stuff that allowed, allowed me to develop some of my talents. I got a launch pad, which is fun to use. Um, it let me experiment with some of my musical equipment a little bit more than normal. Uh, it was pretty positive. Prom is just me and David Boylan. Um, we took pictures in my backyard, went to Disney and ate, and then went there. He's wearing a peacock vest and tie, and I was using a light up bow tie. Or, not a light up bow tie, that was homecoming. Light up tie. And uh, it was pretty, pretty successful. I'll let you finish. So the best song of 2016 is probably uh, Shelter by Porter Robinson, which is what this hoodie is from. Um, we played it a lot on the broadcasts this year. Um, and it was just generally a good song, even though people were getting tired of it by the end. So for 2017, I plan on traveling. Um, I'm going to head up to Canada in the late summer after I'm working for a while. Um, after that, I'm probably either going to stick around here for a little while, save up money, might get myself a motorcycle. Um, or I'll just head over to Los Angeles for a little while and just kind of stay there, get the hang of everything, maybe get a job as a PA if I can, that sort of thing. Um, my high school experience overall was pretty shitty. Um, I wasn't really a fan. Most of my time that I remember fondly was out of school. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not, not a huge, not a huge fan. I'll miss being a kid, but I won't miss high school at all. Underclassmen. 
my advice to you is some advice that comes from the heart because it's something that uh, I had to deal with. Don't hang around people you don't like just because you think they're cool. Um, like, if you find people who are just jerks, but everyone seems to like them, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to like them. You don't have to hang around them. You can, you can just do your own thing. You don't have to base yourself off these people that don't give a shit about you, um, or anything you care about. Find friends that you share interests with, even if people make fun of you or stupid shit like that, just make sure you enjoy yourself with friends, because my first two years of high school, I tried to do that. I tried to assimilate myself into this group of people that everyone thought was like, the popular kids. And then I was like, you yeah, know, this isn't me. It's not what I like. It's not what I enjoy. So I pretty much gave up on that. I evolved from timid high school student to um, complete asshole um, who just says what he wants to say because uh, I don't care what other people think anymore. So, so my most memorable moment in high school was probably not out of a classroom, actually. It's probably more out of, um, like, just a con like a group of events. I can't really think of a single event, but um, <laughs> just the, the group of stuff that happened in Scahill's room throughout the year. Um, was probably the most uh, memorable thing. Oh, I changed my mind. Skiffle singing. That was the most. That was the most memorable. We're not going to get that. Our class isn't cool enough. Um, but it was definitely something that I remember. Something I learned in high school that I didn't learn in the classroom was. Let's see how much of this I can say. Uh, well, actually, I can. I learned how to use a launch pad. Um, that's a little pad with buttons on it um, that plays sounds when you push them. I'm, I learned how to use that. Um, got better with my music software. That sort of thing. Um, I taught myself all that. I didn't really use guides or anything like that. I pretty much did it all myself, with the exception of uh, like learning certain songs on it. But the rest of it, that was all me. In high school, I'm going to miss Mr. Scales' class. Um, I'm gonna miss the people, some of the people, um, I'm gonna miss being a kid, like a high school kid, because this is the only time that I'm gonna be able to see my friends every day, um, that's not gonna happen after school, um, which is okay, I kind of prepared myself for that, besides I'm by myself most of the time, um, that's that's probably it. The stupidest thing I did in high school was not try earlier in my earlier high school years. Kind of left everything to the last minute. Um, I failed two classes. Um, I didn't do as much work as I could have. I didn't try to even pass some of them. Um, generally, being lazy was the thing. That was the stupidest thing that I did. And no one really talked to me out of it um, until the consequences were pretty apparent, and then I started to pick it up again. Um, luckily, it wasn't late enough that I kind of screwed myself, but um, it was still later than it should have been, especially for someone who's as smart as I am. If I could go back and change anything in high school, I I'm not really sure, because I kind of made a habit of not regretting the stuff that I did eventually. Um, I kind of just did stuff. So... Probably not studying enough. I probably could have studied and did homework more. That would have made it easier to get through school without having to um, struggle the whole time. <laughs> The teacher I'll remember the most is obviously Mr. Scale, um, mainly because um, uh, 
Um, mainly because he kind of understood where I was coming from more than any other teacher really did. And um, he made school a bit more interesting because I'm not really a sit down and study for hours kind of person. Um, but he made it better, definitely. In 10 years, I honestly don't even know where I'm going to be. Um, hoping that I will be at least a decent distance into cinematography, which is what I want to do. But I don't know. I have no idea. Like, I've never really, never really thought about it in depth. I don't really want to. I kind of just want to see what happens. My most memorable moment from DNN. Oh boy. It's a tough one. Um, probably uh, the whole drinking incense thing, where Gavin and um, Stephen and Jordan all drink incense and called poison control and started screaming. Um, that or when Austin DeGross in order to pixie stick, that was probably up there as well. The funniest thing that happened in DNN was probably um, the fleshlight conversation um, last year in DNN when Tiara didn't know what a flashlight was and we had to explain it and she's like, how do you clean it? And we kind of were just like, I don't know. So we kind of went on like a little research project where we figured out how to clean a flashlight. The one thing Scahill always says and I'll always remember it's probably um, the you need to listen uh, while well, he's gesturing because um, I used to crack me up in TV one and he still did it in DNN for a little while kind of stopped lately but now it's something that, that's going to stick with me I want to thank Scahill um, as much as he irritated me sometimes, um, I also want to thank Mr. Russell, because he's the one who, uh, basically made Swim Team and Waterfall a little bit more enjoyable sometimes, um, and then, um, probably David, because you're my bud, and you'll always be my bud. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. And everyone in DNN who, um, went along with my stupidity, so. Mm hmm that's it. <laughs> Um, shit, I guess I, fuck, I have to hold this. It's March 6th, 2017, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, this is my third video diary. Uh, the first question is, what are your plans for spring break 2017? Well, you know, um, I did a lot of bad things when I was a little younger, a few years ago. So, you know, my mom's real strict now. So probably just gonna do a lot of babysitting like every day, like I always do, and just chilling at home. Friends are trying to get a hotel room, but I think they're a little too late because they literally just looked today and spring break is two weeks away, some shit like that. So, you know, I mean, if they get it, I'm not going to stay with them because I probably won't be allowed to, but I'll probably drop by and then I'm going on a college visit to FAU that fr the last Friday of spring break. That's about it. That's my plans. Have you had any conflicts with your teachers? Uh, yeah, you know, um, Swarsky is the biggest dick of a teacher I've ever met in my fucking I don't even know how long I've been in school I would I started school early and like when I was little I 
just stayed in that same grade. I don't know. It's it's weird. Like I went to the YMCA, not the YMCA. What the fuck the Jew the JCC. That's what it was. The JCC when I was real fucking little before I was supposed to go to school, and I stayed in those classes for like two years, three years. I don't know. But he's I don't know. I don't know why the fuck I just said that. That's not important. The, the the important thing is is that Swarovski is an ass, okay? Let me tell you how I broke my fucking leg and snapped my ankle so that shit wasn't working. So I can't walk. I'm I'm on crutches and I show up to class like right as the bell rang. This dick closed the fucking door in my face, looked at me and said, "Go get a pass." I I looked at him out I wanted to punch this motherfucker. If I wasn't on crutches, I might have fought him. He said, I was like, I looked at him. I said, my fucking leg is broken. And he goes, through the fucking glass, he just looks down at my leg. And he goes, all right, let's meet. I'm like, I'm going to sleep, bitch. I'm not doing nothing in your class today. Ass, man. All right, fuck him. From the beginning of the year, have you lost or gained any friends? Uh, you know, this kid, Dimitri, he used to live with me. He lived with me, like, f- from, like, eighth grade to last year, I guess. Even when I didn't play football, I don't know, we've always played football together, I guess. But he didn't, like, this year, with this whole, um, Oregon D1 prospect thing that he's got going on now. He's D1 athlete, I guess. I don't know. He just doesn't... He hasn't, he hasn't hung out with us in a while. Well, he's starting to come over, but it's, like, kind of dumb. He just comes over for, like, an hour and then leaves. I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's different, you know? I mean, I don't, I don't really care that much, but it's just weird. It's like just the relationship now with my family and his family because there's some weird shit honestly for those for those who know you know it's weird if you could switch out of any class right now which class would it be what if I could well I have all these dumbass classes I go to like math for college readiness really I passed I passed my test. I'm not stupid. I just took it because I wanted to go to it for, like, SAT prep. So now I really don't need it. And I finished all the work in, like, five minutes. And all the kids are starting to cheat off me. And the guy's like, teacher's like, I'm going to fail you if you're not careful. I'm like, what the fuck, man? It's not my fault. So I don't know. I guess, I guess I'd switch out of that class. But, you know, English, we don't do anything. So we're still dick. Um... Fifth period weightlifting, we kind of just stand there, talk to Anderson. He's, uh, he's pretty cool. Him and him and Rosen are some cool guys to talk to about stuff. Uh, um, fuck, I don't know. The video ended. I guess I'm gonna have to put them together. Uh, <coughs> no, I, w- I wouldn't switch out of. Scalehouse class. I wish I would have taken Scalehouse class early if I could have, but because of medical and football, I just I didn't have any room in my foreign languages. I needed. I know this whole medical and football thing has fucked up my years of high school and my mother. Yeah. <clears throat> what is the oldest photo on your phone? Shit, hold on. Is this other phone working? No. All right. Look, we're gonna charge this phone because this is. Where I have everything. So we're going to... I mean... I'm going to show y'all the... Oldest appropriate photo on my phone. <sighs> so we'll get back to that. You invite your favorite person to be in your video. Well, you know... I invited Andrew. Well, like, I didn't want to pick between Andrew and Q. But Andrew said he didn't want to. And Q is busy with baseball right now. And I kind of just felt the need to do this video right now, so... You know, other than them too, it's Mike makes me laugh, PJ makes me laugh. You know, I got all my brothers. Bentley's honestly, Bentley, my little sister is probably my favorite person. She, I don't know, she's pretty funny sometimes. 
maybe I'll go get a video of her later. What are your thoughts on the presidential election and the final results? You know, it was either... You know, the choices were shit and shit, honestly. You know, Hillary Clinton, I feel like she was just dick riding Obama and all his plans that, you know, just... I understand people want to make health care for everyone, you know, and this is just a difficult thing to do. I'm not really political, but, you know, uh, so much the things Trump Trump does are in the right. Most of the things he says are in the wrong. I think he's one of the most immature elderly men I've ever seen on television. <laughs> He's, uh, like, at such a high position. I honestly don't know how he started running for president. The man fucking was a real estate agent and shit. He owns a... He runs fucking Trump Towers and some shit. Like, why would you want to be president? That shit's kind of stressful. Just... Why couldn't he let some other fucking Republican run? I don't know. That shit's dumb. The whole wall thing... The wall thing is fucking retarded, man. Like, I watched a video on how they would build it. And the lowest expense that it would cost would be about $28 trillion. Like, come on, dude. that's You can't even put a fucking wall in a lake. Like, that's not going to work. That's, like, they're always going to find... Like, El Chapo built fucking tunnels under a jail. Like, that shit's not going to work, dude. They have other ways to get shit over here or illegal immigrants to get over here. Like, no, you can't, you can't stop it. It's stupid. That's stupid to just throw money. It's like throwing money into a fire, I guess. I think it's just, that part is just dumb, you know. <sighs> We're going to stop talking about that because that's just a whole other thing. What is your biggest regret so far this school year? Dude, I don't know, man. I mean, that was a pretty shitty senior year football season. Uh, I don't know. Girls are dumb. Fucking dumb. They're so dumb. Oh, my God. Um, biggest regret this year? <coughs> well, this school year? Fuck. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'd say going to homecoming, but I literally was in a boot on crutches, you know. I've only been to one dance so far, you know. I'm hoping, I'm probably going to go to prom, but I've only went to homecoming my freshman year. So I guess it's that, but I literally couldn't because, you know, I was also in Miami. So if you died right now, how would you want to be remembered? Dude, I don't really care if anybody remembers me. Honestly, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. You could remember me or not. As long as I didn't make someone's life terrible, that's fine with me. You know, I wouldn't want to be remembered as, like, as someone like Hitler. That's fucking terrible. I mean, he was a genius, but he's fucking terrible. Uh, you know, if you could describe your school year in one song, what would it be? Oh, dude, really? What is this question? A song? Oh, fuck. I don't know a song, man. Is this the phone on yet? Oh, dude, it's still charging. A song, really? A song? I gotta stall until this freaking phone's on, man. Is there no pictures on this phone? Um... <laughs> Oh, I'm in my car. I think I forgot to say that. I don't know. I probably said that. <laughs> um, dude, I need I need like something to hold my phone. I don't know. I always saw them put their phone like right here. That should be dope. Oh, fuck a song. A song. A B 
ABCs. It's just fucking steps to this year. I don't know. I mean, that's about it. So, yeah, man. All right. Look, I guess I'm going to have to put together three videos because this phone's dead. Anyways, I guess that's it. All right, all right. This is, like... I think this has got downloaded somehow because I know I backed this up to my computer. But it's me and Q. So, you know, the oldest picture on this phone is probably probably that one. Let's go through my pictures real quick. Oh, there's a girl I talked to. There's a girl I really liked. Stupid. Girls are so dumb. Oh, my gosh. This is bad. This is a video of a girl who was intoxicated and said she was going to draw a tattoo on me, but ended up writing her phone number on my arm. Oh, this one girl tried to make me chug a Corona. I was like, I don't drink, girl. Get along. That's about it. Oh my god, I can't believe I saw these pictures of the girl. Fuck her. Shout my life. Alright, we're gonna go pick up we're gonna go pick up Phil. It's not even his real name. I was talking about him earlier. So that's gonna be my guest speaker. He's I don't know what the fuck he's gonna say. I'm saving him because he promised these dudes that we played with, he promised them that he was gonna come work out with them. But he did not want to work out with them, so I was like, look, bro, I'll drop you off. I'll go around the corner. I'll wait five, ten, maybe twenty minutes, and I'll come get you. He's like, all right. All right. <laughs> there he is. He's in, he's in the highlight. I don't know if you can see it. You see it? He's in that highlighter jacket. I don't know what the fuck these boys do. Like trash. I'll make it rain. I'll make it rain. What's he doing? I know he saw me. He sucks at acting. What a freak. Oh, this is gonna be a kinda long video. I guess. Oh, he's dapping up everybody. He's leaving. Here goes his little slow walk. Like he's in trouble. <laughs> Dude, laughing. I don't know why he's laughing. Oh, where's he going? Oh, he's got his stuff. His cleats are dope. <laughs> His cleats have like a grill on them. I'm gonna show y'all when he gets in here. D. Yeah. I'm shooting a video. Huh? I'm shooting a video, diary. Shoot Say me. what up. What up? Let me show him your cleats. With the grills. You tired, guy? Hell yeah, I'm on shoot. That's Oregon's newest wide receiver. Right? You don't wide receiver, right? Fuck that cone. You don't really talk to me that much anymore. I wouldn't know. How's your workout? <laughs> How's your workout? Just a little, a little work. Not so serious. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm doing my video thing. Uh, what is the date you were filming this on? It is, what is it? August 29th, 2016. Uh, where are you making this video? I'm in my kitchen. I'm in the 12th grade, and school is really boring and easy so far. Uh, my favorite song right now is 
My favorite song right now is, I don't know, some song by Lil Yachty in Winter Time. I can't think of it right now. But yeah. And what was the most memorable thing that has happened to you in the first weeks of school? Well, we. We. Who was it, Okoe? Yeah, we killed Okoe pretty bad. It was like 62 to 7. Yeah. Did you guys get rewarded for that? Uh, we'll, we might get stars on Friday. I don't know. He just has like a list of accolades that we get, and if we complete them, like I know we get one for scoring fifty points. Uh, what is the most? What are you looking? Why do you keep talking? I'm taking video. What are you most looking forward to this year? Moving out. Yeah, moving out is what I'm looking forward to most, and being 18, that all sounds so fun. <laughs> she's going to kick me out the minute I graduate. She's going to be like, you don't got no home here. Uh, let's see, what are you looking forward to? What is going to be the hardest thing about this year? Uh, deciding, getting accepted into a college and deciding which one I want to go to, that's, that's going to be rough. Um, what is advice would you give yourself right now to get through the year? Uh, just do what you need to do to graduate and get into college, I guess. I don't know. Don't be stupid. And last one, what has made you really laugh in the last few weeks? Uh, well, there was that one time my sister was really retarded and was like, Oh yeah, Forrest, no, she said Forrest Gump went to heaven because he was a cripple, and she was serious, like she legit thought that that was a real person, or the time where <laughs> we were asking our friends, we were like, if you were born five years ago, how old would you be, and they were all like, Stunned, like some kid said, twelve. Do you unplug my phone? I didn't unplug your phone. I was it. I didn't unplug your phone. Yeah, so they just didn't understand that it meant you were born five years ago, so you'd be five. It was really funny at the time. It's kind of stupid now. And that's it for my first video. It's the, um, fuck, how do I do this? It's December 1st, 7, 08, 07 we gonna be a.m. We're going to be late to class. We might be straight. late. Uh, you know what? We're just going to take this. On the move. We're going to be this. Mm -hmm. We're doing on the move. Hmm. What that? Take that paper. Got two phones. Got to make sure I got them both at all times. Oh, shit. This is going to be a thick-ass video. Do you have the paper? Oh, dude, I forgot my Pop Tart. Red velvet? No, bitch, y'all ate them all. Fat ass bitches. I forgot I was recording. I forgot I'm recording. 
You know Q ate that. All right, let's go. Paper, buddy. Let's go. Uh, we got this. Uh, how how school you going so far? That shit's fucked. Um, yeah, it's stressful. I mean, I like had surgery and missed two weeks of school, so like this one teacher failed me in their class, and he's like, "We'll change it," but he never changed it. No, Sanders in economics. Mr. Howell had a heart attack, so I had like a 3.33 F for like two weeks. Who is the most memorable, good or bad teacher? Well, like out of all my years, is either Scahill or Montague for positive. And or Swarsky for negative because that's Swarsky oh my sucks. god, he's the most. What are these uh, journal shit he's having us do? I, yeah, know. I don't know. He's oh, I didn't even do that homework last night. Um, what is your favorite Halloween memory? I don't really do Halloween, so I don't really <laughs> got a memory. Well, we went. Oh, you didn't come. Oh, with us. yeah, you did. You came with us. Oh, guys. these guys picked me up and two other kids, and we took our these little CO2, CO2 BB guns and they took them and they started shooting them at little kids <laughs> and Andrew like was chasing people with cars I don't know and then I the did not dad, this, the oh yeah we dipped off on the dad though that was that was that jump was intense yeah um where have you gone for Thanksgiving in the past uh well usually go to my dad's side of the family's house like my grandma's house. Hey! And then we'll go to my other grandma's house on my mom's side for dinner. So we'll have like lunch at my dad's and dinner at my mom's. What does your family eat for Thanksgiving? You know, we eat like ham, turkey. There's like some Spanish dishes. Like one is yuca. It kind of tastes like chlorine. We eat edibles. <sighs> no. I'm, I'm drug free. I'm sober. Miss me with that. Um, what's your favorite Christmas memory? Uh, I don't remember what we did, but me and my cousins, like, after Chris, like Christmas, we stayed up the next morning till, like, 6 a.m., and I had to wake up at 8 to go, like, help people, so I don't know. That was pretty fun. I think we played, like, airsoft and stuff, and I almost got my eye shot out. Hey, Miss Register. What the fuck? She just called me Sugar Sugar? Um, what is the best gift you've gotten for Christmas up to now? <sighs> Damn, that's a difficult one. I don't even know. I mean, I got a telescope once. I really like that. Give me a butt for Christmas. That'd be. Oh my God, this is going on the internet. I know. That's what I'm saying. Um. You better wipe that look off your face before I do it for you. Oh my God, it's five minutes long. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say telescope. If you could have anything, don't worry about money in the world, what would it be? Uh, 19... We were talking about 67 Fastback Mustang. All souped up. I saw one for $265,000 once. Put it on him. Put it on him. Show, show, the, world, show the world I can't the flip the camera. Show the phone. Show the world the body. What is that? That's my T-shot kid with guns. Who's that? This is a video diary. This is Krim. Hey, I'm sorry. A little thought. <laughs> I'm playing crew. I'm not even a thought, and I don't even go here. You don't even go here. Where are you going? Yeah, you walking it every day. Oh, okay. If you could yeah. give anything in the world for Christmas, what would it be? Man, I don't know. What should I say? I guess I, I give someone a hug. I know you want guns. No, let's say give a gift. Oh fuck! All right. Um. Shit. I guess I. Fuck. I have to hold this. It's. March 6th, 2017, right, yeah, I think so, yeah. um, this is my third video diary, uh, first question is, what are your plans for spring break 2017, well, you know, um, I did a lot of bad things when I was a little younger, a few years ago, so, you know, my mom's real strict now, so probably just gonna do a lot of babysitting like every day like I always do and just chilling at home friends are trying to get a hotel room but I think they're a little too late because they literally just looked today and spring break is two weeks away some shit like that so you know 
I mean, if they get it, I'm not going to stay with them because I probably won't be allowed to, but I'll probably drop by, and then I'm going on a college visit to FAU that fr- the last Friday of spring break. That's about it. That's my plans. Have you had any conflicts with your teachers? Uh, yeah, you know, um, Swarsky is the biggest dick of a teacher I've ever met in my fucking I don't even know how long I've been in school I would I started school early and like when I was little I just stayed in that same grade I don't know it's it's weird like I went to the YMCA not the YMCA what the fuck the Jew the JCC that's what it was the JCC when I was real fucking little before I was supposed to go to school and I stayed in those classes for like two years three years I don't know but he's I don't know I don't know why the fuck I just said that that's not important. The, the The important thing is is that Swarovski is an ass, okay? Let me tell you how I broke my fucking leg and snapped my ankle so that shit wasn't working. So I can't walk. I'm, I'm on crutches. And I show up to class, like, right as the bell rang. This dick closed the fucking door in my face, looked at me and said, go get a pass. I, I looked at him out. I, I wanted to punch this motherfucker. If I wasn't on crutches, I might have fought him. He said, I was like, I looked at him. I said, my fucking leg is broken. And he goes through the fucking glass. He just looks down at my leg. And he goes, all right, let's me. I'm like, I'm going to sleep, bitch. I'm not doing nothing in your class today. Ass, man. All right, fuck him. From the beginning of the year, have you lost or gained any friends? Uh, you know, this kid, Dimitri, he used to live with me. He lived with me, like, from, like, eighth grade to last year, I guess. Even when I didn't play football, I don't know, we've always played football together, I guess. But he didn't, like, this year, with this whole, um, Oregon... D1 prospect thing that he's got going on now. He's D1 athlete, I guess. I don't know. He just doesn't... He hasn't hung, he hasn't hung out with us in a while. You know, he's starting to come over, but it's, like, kind of dumb. He just comes over for, like, an hour and then leaves. I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's different. You know? I mean, I don't, I don't really care that much, but it's just weird. It's, like just the relationship now with my family and his family because there's some weird shit honestly for those for those who know you know it's weird if you could switch out of any class right now which class would it be what if I could well I have all these dumbass classes I go to like math for college readiness really I passed I passed my test. I'm not stupid. I just took it because I wanted to go to it for, like, SAT prep. So now I really don't need it. And I finished all the work in, like, five minutes. And all the kids are starting to cheat off me. And the guy's like, teacher's like, I'm going to fail you if you're not careful. I'm like, what the fuck, man? It's not my fault. So I don't know. I guess guess I'd switch out of that class. But, you know, English, we don't do anything. So we're still dick. Um... Fifth period weightlifting, we kind of just stand there, talk to Anderson. He's, uh, he's pretty cool. Him and him and Rosen are some cool guys to talk to about stuff. Uh, um, fuck, I don't know. The video ended. I guess I'm gonna have to put them together. Uh, <coughs> no, I, w- I wouldn't switch out of Scalehill's class. I wish I would have taken Scalehill's class early if I could have. But because of medical and football, I just, I didn't have any room in my foreign languages. I needed, I know, this whole medical and football thing has fucked up my years of high school and my mother. Uh, What is the oldest photo on your phone? Shit, hold on. Is this other phone working? All right, right, look. We're going to charge this phone because this is where I have everything. So we're going to, I mean... I'm going to show y'all the oldest appropriate photo on my phone. (sighs) 
so we'll get back to that. I invite your favorite person to be in your video. Well, you know, I invited Andrew. Well, like, I didn't want to pick between Andrew and Q. But Andrew said he didn't want to, and Q's busy with baseball right now. And I kind of just felt the need to do this video right now. So, you know, other than them two, it's Mike makes me laugh. PJ makes me laugh. You know, I got all my brothers. Bentley's, honestly, Bentley, my little sister, is probably my favorite person. She, uh, she's pretty funny sometimes. <sighs> Maybe I'll go get a video of her later. What are your thoughts on the presidential election and the final results? You know, it was either, you know, the choices were shit and shit, honestly. You know, Hillary Clinton, I feel like she was just dick riding Obama. And all his plans that, you know, just... I understand people want to make health care for everyone, you know. And this is just a difficult thing to do. I'm not really political, but, you know... Uh, some of the things Trump, Trump does are in the right. Most of the things he says are in the wrong. I think he's one of the most immature elderly men I've ever seen on television <sighs> he's uh, like at such a high position I honestly don't know how he started running for president the man fucking was a real estate agent and shit he owns a f he runs fucking Trump Towers and some shit like why would you want to be president that shit's kind of stressful Just why couldn't he let some other fucking Republican run I don't know that shit's dumb the whole wall thing the wall thing is fucking retarded, man. Like, I watched a video on how they would build it. And the lowest expense that it would cost would be about $28 trillion. Like, come on, dude. That's You can't even put a fucking wall in a lake. Like, that's not going to work. That's, like, they're always going to find... Like, El Chapo built fucking tunnels under a jail. Like, that shit's not gonna work, dude. They have other ways to get shit over here or illegal immigrants to get over here. Like, no, you can't, you can't stop it. It's stupid. That's stupid to just throw money. It's like throwing money into a fire, I guess. I think it's just, that part is just dumb, you know. <sighs> We're gonna stop talking about that because that's just a whole other thing. What is your biggest regret so far this school year? Dude, I don't know, man. I mean, it was a pretty shitty senior year football season. Uh, I don't know. Girls are dumb. Fucking dumb. They're so dumb. Oh, my God. Um, biggest regret this year? <coughs> well, this school year? Fuck. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'd say going homecoming, but I literally was in a boot on crutches, you know. I've only been to one dance so far, you know. I'm hoping, I'm probably going to go to prom, but I've only went to homecoming my freshman year. So I guess it's that, but I literally couldn't because, you know, I was also in Miami. So if you died right now, how would you want to be remembered? Dude, I don't really care if anybody remembers me. Honestly, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. You could remember me or not. As long as I didn't make someone's life terrible, that's fine with me. You know, I wouldn't want to be remembered as, like, as someone like Hitler. That's fucking terrible. I mean, he was a genius, but he was fucking terrible. Uh, you know, if you could describe your school year in one song, what would it be? Oh, dude, really? What is this question? A song? Oh, fuck. I don't know a song, man. Is this the phone on yet? Oh, dude, it's still charging. A song. Really? A song? I gotta stall until this freaking phone's on, man. There's no pictures on this phone. Um... <laughs> 
<coughs> oh, I'm in my car. I think I forgot to say that. I don't know. I probably said that. <laughs> um, dude, I need I need like something to hold my phone. I don't know. I always saw them put their phone like right here. That should be dope. Oh, fuck a song. A song. ABCs is just fucking steps to this year. I don't know. I mean, that's about it. Alright, look, I guess I'm gonna have to put together three videos because this phone's dead. I guess that's it. Alright, alright. This is like, I think this has got downloaded somehow because I know I backed this up to my computer, but it's me and Q. So, you know, the oldest picture on this phone is probably, probably that one. Let's go through my pictures real quick. Oh, there's a girl I talked to. There's a girl I really liked. Stupid. Girls are so dumb. Oh, my gosh. This is bad. This is a video of a girl who was intoxicated and said she was going to draw a tattoo on me but ended up writing her phone number on my arm oh this one girl tried to make me chug a corona I was like I don't drink girl get alone that's about it oh my god I can't believe I saw these pictures of the girl fuck her shout my life alright we're going to go pick up we're going to go pick up Phil it's not even his real name talking about him earlier so that's gonna be my guest speaker he's i don't know what the fuck he's gonna say i'm saving him because he promised these dudes that we played with he promised them that he was gonna come work out with them but he did not want to work out with them so i was like look bro i'll drop you off i'll go around the corner i'll wait five ten maybe twenty minutes and i'll come get you he's like all right <laughs> there he is. He's in, he's in the highlight. I don't know if you can see it. You see it? He's in that highlighter jacket. I don't know what the fuck these boys doing. Like trash. I'll make it rain. I'll make it rain. What's he doing? I know he saw me. He sucks at acting. Oh, this is gonna be a kind of long video, I guess. Oh, he's dapping up everybody. He's leaving. Here goes his little slow walk, like he's in trouble. <laughs> Dude, laughing. I don't know why he's laughing. Where's he going? Oh, he's got his stuff. Alright. <sighs> his cleats are dope. <laughs> his cleats have like a grill on them. I'm gonna show y'all when he gets in here. D! Yeah. I'm shooting a video. Huh? I'm shooting a video, diary. Shoot Say me. what up. What up? Let me show him your cleats. With the grills. You tired, guy? Hell yeah, I'm on the shoot. <laughs> That's Oregon's newest wide receiver. Right? You on wide receiver, right? Fuck that yeah. cone. You don't really talk to me that much anymore. I wouldn't know. How's your workout? <laughs> you got <laughs> How's your workout? Just a little, a little work. Not so serious. <laughs> All right. Okay, so 
In my year of 2016 and 17, the best things that happened were I went to New York for the very first time. It was very nice. I went during spring break, so over there was kind of snowing. Well, it was snowing, not kind of snowing. It was, it was snow. It was my first time seeing snow. It was awesome. Um, I am graduating. That's good. I'll be the first one in my family to walk across the stage and receive a diploma. So that's very good. And that's going to be one of the best things that's going to happen this year, 2017. Um, and I, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> a, word, a bad thing that happened was my grandpa passed away um, in January. Yeah, he passed away in January, and my mom was, was gone, and I still had to be here to go to school and stuff. Um, that was pretty much the only bad thing that happened, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. School, my senior year, my senior year was very good. It was very good. I loved it. Um, I, I mean, I didn't make that many new friends. I met people, like, and they were nice people and everything, but, um, I didn't make new, new friends. Um, it was good because I got everything together. I didn't slack off or anything. Um. My boyfriend made it really nice. It was it was a good year at school with Justin. It was nice. I loved it. <laughs> but it's 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 sad that we're leaving. It was a Cinderella theme, so he had um like a pillow and then on top of it was my shoes my sandals that he had bought and then on the side it said prom and on the other one it said 2017 so that was really nice um and also my home my homecoming proposal um this one wasn't at school so so um, I went to Pong Can. We, we had set up that we were going to go to Pong Can to play um, volleyball. So I went and then I just saw these a lot of colors on the net. And then when I went to the side that I could read it, it said homecoming question mark. And then he had, he had bought two volleyball balls and one said yes and one said no. So we got to pick which one. Well, I got to pick which one. And of course I said yeah. Okay. Okay, something that I learned in high school, but not in class. Okay. It was you get to learn who your friends are. What? So you get to learn who your real friends are out, outside of the classroom. Because something yeah. that you learn in high school. So, yeah, you, you learn that. Um, and you learn, you really learn how some people are, like they could be like all some type of way to you, but then like they're like a totally different person to other people. So that's what you get to learn also about people. Um, okay. What am I, I'm going to miss, I'm going to be. I'm gonna miss about high school. What I'm gonna miss about high school is that you're an adult, but you're still a kid, so you don't have to worry about all those things that your parents are worrying about right now. You worry about you just work when you're in high school. You just worry about your grades, your I guess your friends, how people see you, um, your social media life. Uh, but yeah, that's what that's what I'm gonna miss, I guess, being a kid adult.
Um, the stupidest thing I did in high school. I really didn't do anything stupid because I didn't want to risk anything. So on that one I had to say that I did not do anything stupid. Yeah. If I could change anything that happened in high school, it would be... It would be definitely my grades because now I I have a GPA, a DC GPA, probably like a three, but I mean, I guess I would want it a higher so I could get into a, a college that I wanted to and not have to, um, and not have to um, settle, settle for what I'm doing, right? Now, what I'm going to do. <laughs> Okay, so for Christmas, I went to Mexico. I did not really have a lot of fun because I don't like spending Christmas over there because I don't get a lot of presents. <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing was that I got to spend it with my family. Okay, for prom, I went to prom. That's what I did. I mean, I got ready. I started to get ready at like 8. I woke up at 8, put curls in my hair. Um... I wax my armpits. It hurt a lot. What? Sorry. <laughs> um, but other than that, I just went to prom. I danced, and that's all. And I got my makeup done, and I got my hair done. I look beautiful. Right, Mary? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what was the best song of 2016? I don't really know. Uh, the best movie of 2016? I don't really know that either. Mm, what movies came out in 2016, Byron? Mm -hmm. What movies came out in 2016? I don't know. I'm going to skip that. What plans do you have for 2017? Mm, I didn't watch that one, so I don't know if it was like the best. My plans for 2017 and I guess 18, right? Uh, first, I have to go. I'm going. Uh, I'm going to tech school to become a dental assistant, and then oh. And then I'm going, I'm going to go to my boyfriend's Marine Corps graduation. And then he's going to come back home after like three months of not seeing him. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, high school, high school experience. Mm. I don't know how to sum it up, but there's a lot in it. Um, but... I would say it was a uh, experience, definitely, because you go through laughing, you go through learning stuff that you didn't know about yourself, you go through fighting, definitely fighting, um, heartbreaks, I guess, for some people, or you break a heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay for underclassmen I have a sister that's an underclassman she's a freshman right now so advice I would give to her she's right now yeah she's a freshman she's a, a freshman. yes my sister's a freshman the advice I would give to her or or to any other underclassman like her is to definitely not slack off because if you do then it's gonna be harder for you you're just making things harder for yourself on the long run and for your senior year as well because just imagine you don't have a class done and you're like stressing about it in senior year you're gonna be like oh my god and then hopefully it doesn't get to that point where you're just like oh my god I give up and then you drop out because that's never gonna be a good thing because you're just making life harder for you. That's how I see it. 
the most memorable moment about high school for me at least it was getting my prom proposal because I had everybody staring at me for just like a good it was not two seconds <laughs> it was like a good five minutes yeah I got prom proposed to with the Cinderella theme so it was really okay this is the editing room yes so in this room me and Bree and Byron always used to have like like we, we come in here to talk talk crap about people or talk about our problems or just about anything really but we also have a lot of memories in here like we we're editing or like one of us is playing music too loud and we scream at each other or we're like all dancing to a song that's playing or singing and yeah this is the room that that, that happens and if I always come back in this room later on um, I will always remember that okay so a place that I'm that I, I would come here and remember is this place behind me, from uh, this place, close to the office. Why? Because I help my friend get, prevent, I prevented him from getting in a fight with someone. So that place is always going to be a place that I remember. Um, it was like a whole bunch of people wanted him to fight, but me and my boyfriend and my other friend and my sister and her boyfriend helped that fight not happen. So, um, some might say that's weird or, or, oh, like, oh, he's a pussy or something like that, but, um, it actually helped because it's, it's a thing that stopped from becoming a bigger thing. Yeah. Okay, so, hopefully in 10 years, I will have a nice, well, hopefully, I'm hoping that I'm, like, engaged or something, honestly. Um, and I'm really good and settled with money and everything. Um, and I'm happily in love still. Um, and that's pretty much it. We only have... Well, that's what I plan to do. Well, that's what I hopefully am in 10 years. There. Okay, um, the DNN, what was most memorable about that? It was our Christmas and Thanksgiving party that we had. It was, it was very fun. Everybody got together, like, usually like if it wasn't for that then we would have never really got to meet everybody in the class if that's understandable I mean yeah DNN is like a, a small class of people that you might think you get to know like very well but really it's not like that because even even if it's like you see each other every day you don't really get to meet the person right I guess you just know what they are, like if they're involved in in sports or something like that, but you really never get to meet the person deep down and get to know how they are. Um, but in the Christmas party or the Thanksgiving one, everybody, everybody brought something in of, of, it kind of explained a little of themselves, like the food or whatever. And we got to talk, everybody talked on, in the table it was that was that was what's more memorable about the DNN class. And Skate Hill, he always even when I looked ugly on my bad days, he would always say that I looked beautiful. <laughs> and he's always nice. Um, well to me. That's that's one thing that I always am gonna remember about him. That he's like, Oh no, no, not her. She's beautiful. <laughs> and um oh the teachers. The teachers that I would like to thank is Mr. Scahill, Mr. Talbert, Mr. Paris. He doesn't teach here anymore, but he used to teach here. Um, Miss um, Meadows. Miss Meadows. 
um, and Hauser. Those, all of those teachers had in common that they relate to the students. They're not just like, oh, get this done because it has to be done. Like, if they wanted to get something done, they would like help you or like if you had a problem they would help you on that um they wouldn't just be like regular teachers are they are like teachers that you teachers like like they're in your family they relate to you yeah that's what i was this part too. Just always be sure that toilet seats are clean. Alright, just for videography purposes. Not gonna show my penis, but every time I'm in this spot at the school, uh, it reminds me of a specific story that happened my freshman year. Um, so I'm sitting here taking a dump, just like I'm doing now, and in comes a couple, uh, a young loving couple and they go into that stall over there you just pan out look at that stall that's the big stall um and so they go in there and she proceeds to suck his penis uh, while i'm sitting right beside them enjoying my poop so it completely ruined the peacefulness and the, and the serenity that i was enjoying um and so i proceeded to finish wipe and and do all all of that and then Right at the end, I started making uh, like vigorous poop sound. I was like, oh, oh, and I flushed the toilet and left. So that is my story uh, for this spot at Apopka High School. What was the best thing that happened in 2016, 2017? Yeah, I think the best thing, there were a couple of things that happened in uh, 2016 and 2017. First of all, Donald Trump got elected as the president of the United States. Uh, and then also, I started dating my girlfriend Ryan Stelgis, so that's been a, that's been a good ride too. So, what was the worst thing that happened in 2016, 2017? Well, the worst thing that happened also has something to do with a girl. Uh, her name Cameron Fraser. She's a psychopath. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I really learned a lot of things from her. Negative, all of them, um, and she's just she's a horrible person. <laughs> How is school going this year? School's going great. I mean, it's over, and so, what can I say? It's wonderful. How are your Christmas holidays, and what was the one thing that happened to you that was a good thing? Uh, Christmas holidays were good. Shot a lot of guns with my family, got some good gifts, got some not-so-great gifts. Uh, <laughs> but, but it was decent. Didn't get to spend it with my girlfriend, so that was a little depressing, but other than that, it was, it was fun. What do you do for prom? I took my girlfriend Ryan to prom. I asked her like a day before, uh, so that, that kind of ticked her off. Uh, but we had a good time at prom, danced, grinded. It was fun. I actually got two dollars, <laughs> got two dollars on the dance floor for nice. twerking on her. So, what was the best song of 2016? Best song of uh, 2016. You know, actually nothing good for music came out of 2016. You can't even understand what Kodak is saying. Uh, Young Thug's irrelevant. Um, so I, I would say the best song to come out of uh, 2016 is Thunderstruck. Okay. What was the best movie of 2016? Best movie of 2016? Uh, for 2016, I'd have to say the best movie that I saw was uh, Black Mass. Seen Black Mass I'd and that was a agree. great movie. I'd have to uh, agree. Boston. I love Boston, so it took place in Boston. Nothing better. What plans do you have for 2017? 
Uh, joining the United States Marine Corps, leaving July 10th. I'm gonna be doing intel, so uh, after that I don't really know what I'll be doing, but I'll go wherever they tell me to go, do whatever they tell me to do. How would you sum up your high school experience overall? That no, was pretty good. It flew by fast, and uh, it was it was overall it was overall good. Uh, got a lot of good memories, and we got some bad memories as well. What advice do you have for all the underclassmen? Some advice I have for them: don't slack off. Just get your shit done the first two years, and then you can slack off the last two years. It makes it a whole hell of a lot easier for you. What was your most memorable moment? Most memorable moment? Um, you know, I, I can't really point out one memorable memorable moment, but uh, junior year I skipped a lot of class, hung out in the parking lot with my friends. It was really memorable, and uh, also. I was sitting in a stall taking a dump one day, and uh, there was a couple having sex beside me. It was rough. <laughs> what is something you learned in high school that you did not learn in a classroom? <laughs> that, that people are lying bitches. Don't trust them, okay? Can't trust anybody. What are you going to miss about high school? What am I going to miss about high school? Um, just being able to be in a place every single day, five days a week, uh, that you're with your friends, unless your friends are horrible and they skip a lot of class, which uh, most of my friends were. But most of the time I was able to you know, hang out with them and, and uh, get to know them a little better, so. What was the stupidest thing you did in high school? Stupidest thing? Uh, definitely, I would have to say it was jumping out the window of a classroom. I was just doing it to try to help the teacher out because he was in a bad mood. Somebody had dropped a stink bomb in his class that day. So I left through the window. He didn't take too kindly to that. Got in a lot of trouble, but it was it was worth it. I was there for that. that that's true. <laughs> okay. If you could go back and change anything that happened in high school, what would it be and why? Yeah, well, first of all, I would um, never have wasted my money wasted so much damn money on Cameron Frazier going to prom it was absolutely ridiculous she was not even grateful for it didn't say a freaking word to me after the dance like what a hoe what a hoe cuz he was texting four other guys on the way back from the dance who is the teacher teachers you will remember most and why uh, I'm gonna remember mr. Scahill cuz that man is so funny um, Mr. Rose now because he said some pretty questionable things <laughs> uh, you know that freaked a lot of people out but he turned out to be a cool guy uh, and then Mr. Blevins one of the smartest guys I know uh, he was really cool a lot of stories about baseball and then obviously Coach Carey the Don the, the GOAT in my opinion he was the greatest teacher of all time where do you think you will be in t 10 years as you get ready for your high school reunion yeah well in 10 years hopefully uh, you know I've either going to still be in the Marine Corps making a career out of it or I'm going to uh, be in the FBI maybe hunting down some terrorists. Right. What was your most memorable moment from the DNN class? Most memorable moment from the DNN class? Uh, just some of the conversations that we had in Mr. Scahill's room. Uh, you would never expect that stuff to be talked about in a high school setting. But Mr. Scahill, like I said, is one of the coolest teachers out there, so he lets it happen. Really cool. What was the funniest thing that happened from... Oh, I saw that. I just read that. What is the one thing that Scahill said, did, in the DNA class that you will remember the most? One thing that Scahill did... Um, or said. Or said. He calls me bastard child. <laughs> Every day I, I say, hey, hey, Dad, and he, he says, hi, bastard, son. Hey, yeah, that's what he said, bastard, son. How you doing? That was pretty funny. Awesome. I'll always remember that. Who do you want to thank? Who do I want to thank? Well, I want to thank all my teachers that uh, taught me absolutely nothing, and I also want to thank my friends that have been here for me uh, since day one. Actually, Ian over here hasn't been here since day one because he's only a sophomore, even though he hangs with all the seniors and everything. And uh, my buddy Logan Salella right there. And then the cameraman, Andrew Stankowitz. Got to thank them. Just all the homies out there. Take it easy.
screw me, screw my life, okay? Just screw me. Nothing ever goes my way. Okay. It's been uh, an experience. Uh, not too good, not too bad. This year's definitely been better than the last two years, though. So, I mean, we're getting somewhere. Am I right? Why am I so dark? I'm so tired of being so dark. Why am I so dark? I'm so, like, I don't like being this white. So, watch, I'm gonna go back and be dark. Yep, told you. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> that was tight, okay. Um, just like, just like this. What advice do I have for underclassmen? Don't skip class, your grades will suffer. <laughs> Don't skip class. Don't fall in love. Don't date. Just don't date at all during high school. It's rarely does it ever last, so it doesn't even doesn't even matter. Um, it's just not worth it. Focus on you, your schoolwork, your family, you know, your friends. Focus on something other than the opposite sex or the same sex if that's what you like. Whatever, you know. Just don't focus on dating. It's not worth it. <laughs> rarely does it ever mount to anything after high school, so it's just not worth the stress. Oh, God. Um, the last time that I, like, did something super stupid at school, um, I smoked two blunts before school with Marshall, and we were super high, and I forgot that I had to anchor that. Oh, my gosh. Why am I so dark? Okay. I forgot I had to anchor, and, yeah, so I did broadcast high, and I was like this the whole time. So, and then Scam pulled out a disc, and it said, Megan Stone cannot deny February 2nd. Oh my god. That was, like, the highlight of my life. I learned how to better control my emotions, um, like, in public. I learned how to, like, fake happy instead of, like, all the time, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, that's that's what I learned and I learned how to dress better cuz I used to dress like crap The stupidest thing I did in high school was fall in love the first and the second time mostly the first time because that was Was way in over my head the second time was okay. I mean It is jackass, but It's all right <laughs> It went a lot smoother than the first time because of the fact that I I made myself learn how to better control my emotions because I knew that he would use it against me as a weakness. So, I mean, it was a little easier than last time because I would, like, force myself to be happy. So. I wouldn't go back and change anything because if I did, it would ruin, you know, Doing one thing different can lead to a whole different life. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything. I like my life. I like where I'm headed. I like the path that I'm on. I like how much I'm learning from my mistakes and everything. And I don't know, I just wouldn't change anything. Damn, Max, that was inspirational as fuck. <laughs> Mr. Mellon, because who wouldn't remember a teacher that calls you their wife? Literally, I went to sign into the AP exam and he was like, hello, Miss Mellon. I said, Hello, husband. How are you? And Skeho because he's a total jackass. But it's it's okay because we balance out because we're both jackasses. This is why we get along. <laughs> I think I'll be at home because there is no way in hell you're gonna get me to come back and waste another day of my life with these fucking menaces at this school. Except for like Melon and Scale, but they wouldn't be at the reunion. So, I mean, no, fuck, fuck that and fuck everyone in that school and fuck the school itself. So, no, I think I'll be in bed not going. The mailman totally just saw me take that video. Awkward. <laughs> when I did my video diary and I was still like super heartbroken at this time, um, I did my video diary freshman year and uh, <laughs> I was very drunk. <laughs> And I talked about how 
uh, Bruce Jenner chopped his dick off and called himself a chick. And I should not have said that. And I also said don't fall in see or don't fall in love with seniors and don't believe them when they tell you they love you because they don't. And then I walked out after my video diary and Skeho was like, Are you sure you want me to post this? And I was like, Yep, post it. <laughs> I'm so I'm stupid. I think that was that was one of the last times I ever did that in school. <clears throat> Me first. Me second. Oh, and when he called Marshall Virgin Mary, because that's really funny. That was really, really funny to me. <laughs> I'm like walking corruption in a bottle. My parents paying for everything. Um, definitely gonna miss them paying for everything, but I'm not gonna miss living here. Uh, nothing against them. I just I can't wait to get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm so fucking tired of yeah, Let me see your phone You know why your grades look like this. What are you doing? Are you're not where you said you were? Yes, I am <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm not gonna miss that <laughs> I want to thank scale and mr. Mellon and my mom for putting up with me ranting about Marshall so much and um, I want to thank God I want to thank the heavens above for helping me get through this I can't oh hey, one more year one more year it's almost over look at Raven's face the first thing I got from you is you don't know, like my <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. oh my god <laughs> Why the fuck would you do that, nigger? <laughs> <laughs>